So we're getting super high winds here tonight. And uh, we're in for a big storm this weekend. And uh, we had three raccoons up here, but one le uh, two left. So I got some hot dogs out there and uh, oat cookies. So he's going to eat the dry food. I don't know why the other one's left. The wind is super high. <clears throat> yeah. So I'm not going out there because it's cold and uh, it's right now they're kind of spooked because they've been sleeping for three months. He's still watching to see if the other ones are going to come back. There was two others. When he hears it's the wind, say. The wind is making them nervous. We need the dry food. No, he's going to leave too. Oh, here comes another one. Another one coming back. Oh, there's two coming back. Oh, he's three. Here we go. Now we got. Now we got people. Here we go. Full crowd now. <laughs> hungry, hungry hippos. Yeah. So we get four raccoons on the deck. See, they wake up when uh, see the weather right now is about it's eight degrees out there, but the wind chill is way below that. One fellow went back down again. He's got hot dogs over there. And that's oat cookies. The fresh oat cookie from Geno's Bakery. <clears throat> and those two are eating the uh, the dry kibble. That stuff came from Texas. That kibble. I think I got four bags down in the basement yet. I just stored them down there as I knew I'd be needing them. Yeah, see the wind is bothering them, eh? It hurt. It's hard in their ears. Yeah. When I was driving to Walmart there at night, my God, the car was all over the road. So we're going to have high winds tomorrow and uh, and Friday. Friday night we're having the big storms going to hit and they're going to be here all lots of snow Saturday. So, out with the snow blower again. Three times this week I had to blow the yard out and it drifted in yesterday and I had to get it out yesterday. See a lot of people in town uh, they can't understand that what I why I got so much snow but we're up we're up in the mountain up here. High country. Well, at least you get to see some of them anyway. I'll go to this other window here. There. 
Smile, guys. <laughs> He's just woofing that stuff right down. <laughs> I'll have to put some water out. Um, just hang on a minute. put this small pan in up. <clears throat> Wait Connor, I'm gonna get you, Connor Cat. You're just a nuisance. Yes you are. This one out for now. I hope they don't run. I'll just put it out here. Hi, right, I got some water. Look. There. There, put some water out. See that shovel's hanging up and it's making a noise. <clears throat> Spoken them. Boy, they love that kibble. Yeah, I didn't put any sandwiches out yet. I should do them for now. I should have took that shovel in. Oh, see the apples are gone, so the deer were here. I've been putting water in. I notice they're not bothering with it. Now, see, they'll probably, uh, like, I know the brook still froze and the rivers, the rivers froze, but they uh, they get water from the snow. <clears throat> and there's big puddles out out here, so no shortage of water. There's the third fella. Here we go. Anyway, I'm going to leave it for now and I'm going to make some sandwiches and put out. <clears throat> Hi Charlotte. There's Charlotte. Charlotte the cat. And there's the bad fellow that steals my chair. You steal my chair, don't you? Connor, you better not get in my chair. You hear me? He couldn't care less. You're not one bit afraid, are you? Nope. All right, buddy. Oh, wait now. I went up to Tim Hortons. Look, Timbit. Timbits. Look at that. Yeah. And this is from a very nice lady from Upper Stewiak. She uh, sent a Tim Horton card for for Christmas for him, so I used it today.
Come on. <laughs> well, I'll eat it then. <clears throat> anyway, I bought a little 10 pack box. So thanks, Heather, for sending that up for Connor.